Greetings, beloved hearts of love. I, goddess of Venus, greet you this day, pouring the honor flame of our love to the people of Earth. As each of you become more enlightened upon your spiritual paths, Mother Akasha knows the time has come for your increase of light in your lives to be matched with an increase of love, a kind of love that is indescribable, a kind of love that I wish you to know will provide you with every wonderful thing in your life. I, Venus, wish you to know this day that our concept of love manifests tremendous perfection, supply, and happiness to all the life that exists upon Venus. For centuries now, the director logos of our system of worlds has requested the house of Venus to overlight your planet Earth and your peoples in preparation for another golden age upon your Earth, one that began in 2012. As each of you have been called upon in the past to call upon great Germain's violet purifying flame, to come forth into all the conditions in your world and as you make this call every day to purify conditions in the physical world I ask you to realize it is this purification that keeps the door open for our great love flames to pour into your world a love that can constantly pour forth into your lives to provide you with all you require as long as you give enough recognition and enough love to your own God presence that abides within and above you and enough recognition and love to the ascended and angelic host. For it is upon the love that you pour to us, then the love we send back on the love you sent to us carries with it a boundless supply of all that your life desires and requires. We upon Venus wish you could realize and feel the depth of our love to all life of your world. Why do we pour our love? Well, first, it is our obligation to do so, since we have been called to be a guardian presence to the people of Earth. And secondly, we must bring here to your Earth that which is to supply life with the love that is necessary to set all life free. Now, since the great flame of eternal love that we can send to your earth is so powerful in its great cosmic activity throughout the universe, then as we direct those love flames throughout the earth, they release the power that consumes that which is not love. And this is what your world and all her kingdoms require most at this time. And much more of it. Yes, beloved hearts, you have your human love in your world. Yet we see that human love as being somewhat compromised due to all the other emotions that humans have and all the troubles and traumas 
that has been and continues to be in human lives. So a greater love is required to set your world free, the entire world free, and to ready your world and all life upon your earth for this new golden age. Now this eternal love of the universe that we direct, this love comes forth from what we call the great cosmic honor flames of creation. And these flames contain everything of love, perfection, happiness, and supply. And these honor flames, when they come into your world, consume all that is not love. Realize that with enough understanding and recognition of this love, that we provide, called into action in your physical conditions, as this builds, you cannot lack for any good thing. These great eternal love flames are the honor flames from the heart of life in the great central sun at the center of our universe and are a mighty focus of love, which is all supply to this system of worlds that your planet is part of. Humans have cut themselves off from what should be the natural, universal outpouring of these love flames. And therefore, we from Venus are called in to begin the restoration of the love these flames will produce to provide you, beloved hearts, with the greater happiness and supply you should ever require. Realize that the honor flame of this great cosmic love is the boundless supply of every good thing that cannot be repeated enough. And realize that as you daily direct the violet purifying flames into all conditions in your lives, you are actually holding the door open where we can then respond to your call to us upon Venus to pour our cosmic love supreme into you and all conditions of your lives. We see that people upon the earth in experiencing the lack of the outer world, they think that they lack things when in reality, their experience of lack is the lack of this cosmic love that I speak of, that was always intended to be active in your lives. So please now, precious hearts, daily recognize in your prayers and your calls, the honor flames of God's eternal love. Can you remember that? The honor flames of God's eternal love. And call upon myself Venus and my sons, the lords of the flames of Venus, to pour into you and hold around you and into all conditions of your lives, our cosmic love supreme. This is how we experience and feel 
the yellow flames of God's eternal love. We feel that as cosmic love supreme. And as you will call that forth, pour your love to us and we will respond and pour this greater love to you. Beloved hearts, our love has all the supply within itself for anything and everything that love chooses to do for you in your lives. So when you require something in your physical lives, first call upon the violet purifying flame to clear the way ahead of you. Then call upon the invincible honor flames of God's eternal love to come into every condition in your life to prepare the way for the supply which it is to come forth in the forms that you require. And when you do this, precious hearts, you become, you are, in a restored, right relationship to life. When you do this, you are using the natural process by which the whole universe came into manifestation. Now you can begin to use this in your own individual selves and your affairs. We have been selected to overlight your world, your earth. And we are pouring forth this love. And if you choose to be amongst the first or to be amongst those who take the time to understand and recognize this. And you call forth this greater love into yourselves, into all conditions in your lives. Beloved hearts, you cannot lack because where this love is, Lack is not. And where lack appears, this love is not. Therefore, what your lives and the world requires most is to be filled with the honor flames of the eternal love of the mighty universal I am presence in the great central sun and from our octave on Venus because this love, our love cannot be contaminated like the human love in your world. Our love cannot be used discordantly. Therefore, I, Venus, say to you what the world requires most now is the acknowledgement and the call and the demand for the honor flame of eternal love to come into every condition in the physical world that is manifesting a lack of perfection, a lack of supply, conditions that manifest lack in any way or unhappiness or disease. Too many of the people in your world think that they need things or they need strength or they need money or they need friends. 
Yet I, the goddess of Venus, assure you, they only need the honor flame of eternal love. From the heart of their own mighty I am God presence and the ascended worlds such as Venus to come into themselves, into their world. So the greater love from your God presence our cosmic love from Venus and the eternal love from the central sun becomes a threefold action of that love that supplies everything and begins to charge forth the perfection into your world's that has been absent. Perfection that becomes eternal. This, beloved hearts, is the divine way of supply to the earth. And it is our covenant. Until your own people know how to produce the great honor flames of love's eternal presence. We are standing in. We will pour them forth to the earth. But there must be those few, those few millions who are awakened, who know of us, who have some understanding Knock and the door will open. Call and we will answer thee. With all that is going on in the world of earth today, it is obvious your people must begin to have their rightful supply of happiness, health, freedom, And yes, dear hearts, even money. So we upon Venus have come to begin the restoration of the kind of love that sets life free. A love that before your people fell from grace, a love that did exist in your world millions of years ago. For those of you who are awake and are tuning in and placing their attention upon your God divinity, recognizing your spiritual hierarchy that is made up of the ascended and angelic host, and turn to us as long as you send the violet flame, call the violet purifying flame into yourselves and then just send it forth out into your world, into all conditions to bring the purity that is required. As long as you do this, you hold the door open And then when you acknowledge us, recognize this mightiest quality of love. Then we can pour this love into you, into your life. And all the conditions of your life. Work with us, beloved hearts of love. And I ask you to begin to tell yourselves every day, I am that I am presence. I am the manifestation of the honor flame of its eternal love. Therefore, I am the wealth 
the opulence and the substance already perfected in my world of all that love can give or all that my love can desire. As you begin to affirm this each day, then you give your presence and the love flames the freedom enough that they require to manifest all that you desire and require. Let me offer that to you again. To begin to tell yourselves to affirm inwardly and outwardly, try to memorize it so that you can Tell this to yourselves every day. I am that I am presence. I am the manifestation of the honor flame of its eternal love. Therefore, I am the wealth, the abundance, the opulence, and the substance already perfected in my world of all that love can give or all that my own love can desire. Try to affirm this each day. Gain your momentum. Work with the law of continuity. And let's just see if you will take ownership of this. Make it your personal truth. In doing so, you open the door. And then it's natural outpouring in its desire to expand. That love's desire to expand as it touches you and fulfill itself in you and in your life. This expands and its blessings of eternal happiness automatically flows into you and through you into your affairs. And try, precious hearts, try to pour your love and blessings into all the conditions in your lives, into all the substance of those conditions. And if you do this daily, watch how those conditions respond. Even those that seem inanimate, watch how they begin to improve and see what you, for yourselves, what you can do and pouring forth your love, not only to others, but also pouring forth your love into every condition in your life. Love sets life free. And if you have difficult conditions, pour your love into those conditions. Pour your love into all your daily activities. Bless them. And watch the power of your love to be a power of transmutation that can even transmute the conditions in your world. As you pour your love, then you call to us. And I, the goddess of Venus, to pour our love, the honor flames of eternal love, which is our cosmic love supreme, to pour our love into you and all the conditions of your life. 
blessed heart, it will not be long before you notice a grand miracle difference taking place in your lives. When you come to understand and experience for yourself how great are the blessings of the miracles of eternal love. The kind of love that I have described to you today you will just come to love, calling those flames of love into yourselves, into all physical conditions, and also, please, into the powers of nature and the forces of the elements. And as you do this, daily, you will begin to see the results. Certainly, you do understand with the current weather conditions and imbalances. In one place, extreme heat. In other places, extreme flooding. Recognize this is due to extreme imbalance and the powers of nature and the forces of the elements. Therefore, as you pour your love and call upon our love that I have described to you into the powers of nature and the forces of the elements, you help to balance them out. And as those forces become balanced, then you will see that severe weather conditions too become less and less. In bringing you the good news of the kind of love that we use in Venus, Venus, the love that provides our people with everything, the honor flames of eternal love. And you begin to call this forth into your life. You will see results. And finally, beloved hearts, when you say to your own beloved God presence, give me the money and supply which I require to fulfill your divine plan that you have for me, for my life, my beloved presence. Give me the money and supply which I require to fulfill your divine plan. To produce happiness and blessings to all that lives upon earth. Then, beloved hearts, as that love shows up as the supply, and that supply comes forth into your lives, and you bless it with eternal purity and the honor flame of eternal love, then when you send that money forth, as you use it, as you spend it, you send it forth with the command to produce happiness, to multiply itself, to create balance everywhere, and to bring divine justice as a natural action of life because these are the qualities that are within eternal love. Then you, beloved heart, you are countering much of the destructive use of money and supply that exists in the world today. You are amongst those who are making a difference. Our love, the love we work with in Venus, our cosmic love supreme, are the honor flames of creation 
of love's eternal presence, love's eternal flame. This love, beloved precious hearts, is the mastery of life, the master powers of life, the master perfection of life. And when you call it forth, then you are reversing the discord of what the outer world has done. Then you need not fear the so-called money conditions of the outer world that are causing and will cause such unprecedented destruction in the world. Did you hear what I just said, beloved precious hearts? That if you have this love, if you call to us to fill you your lives in all conditions with the honor flame of love's eternal presence, and you keep the call every day, then precious heart, you need not fear the so-called money conditions of the outer world that are causing unprecedented destruction and there are storms that are coming in your world in which <clears throat> that will worsen. Yet you, not, you need not fear those money conditions of the outer world. As long as you, your life, and all activities and all conditions of your life become filled with cosmic love supreme, become filled with the honor flames of love's eternal presence. Beloved precious hearts, love your God presence enough. Love your own mighty I am enough. And you cannot lack for any good thing. Call upon your presence daily to make of you, to make of your life a crystal cup filled overflowing with the honor flame of its eternal love. And then, in the joy of that love, as you experience the joy of that love, send it forth. Send it forth out into the world to fulfill the divine plan of your blessed I am God presence that commands the happiness of eternal love to go forth like sunshine and bless all life free. Our beloved friends of earth, beloved precious hearts of love, I am Venus and I offer you my own cosmic love supreme to enfold you hold you, nurture you in my own heart's flame, the honor flames of love's eternal presence. I thank you for your time today. Namaste. 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 Namaste.